so I'm harvesting today and I'm actually just clearing a little bed of collets that I transplanted from another plot and I just wanted to just extol the virtues of them they are the most wonderful plant so let's take a look at some in the ground so I wanted to just show you why I love collets so much and this is a fairly good plant that hasn't been picked at all and it's got a huge harvest on there there's probably uh, eight eight litres probably more of beautiful collets on there I'll just pick one just so you get an idea of what they look like but that's not the end of the story with a collette I'm going to show you one that's been picked quite a lot. So here's a near identical plant that I've just finished harvesting and I've been harvesting this one for three weeks and what you can see on here now is all of these new collets bursting into growth. So here's an example of a near equivalent plant and you can see that these little tiny collets are starting to grow quite nicely and here's an example of one that I just harvested so here's the first harvest and as you can see these are really huge beautiful collets very little cleanup required on them, just occasionally like one little dead leaf or something, but you know, a lot less cleanup than Brussels sprouts. And here's the harvest from the second crop off the stem. And so loads and loads of beautiful small collets. Absolutely gorgeous and still you know quite a decent harvest off that stem and it'll keep on going like this for weeks so it's absolutely incredible and you know the real benefit is that you get this amazing continuous harvest you start off with the leaves of the plant and obviously they look a lot lot nicer than that but they do have this beautiful purple rib and a kind of red tinged leaf and you can just about see how lovely they were at one point in time. So we generally start harvesting those in about July and just keep on going all the way through until about December when the leaf quality starts to decline a bit. Then we take the tops off and the tops are like a big, um, well a small cabbage, just as lovely as the collets themselves. Then about November, we're taking them off the stems and then we're taking the second growth off the stems. You can get a slightly more and longer successional harvest by planting them one month apart. And so let's just talk a little bit about successful growing. So you do want, obviously, as long a stem as you can get. So that's pretty important. You want a really nice thick stem as well. The thicker you get, the more you get around the periphery. And to get that, you really do need really well prepared ground. So we'll have some poultry manure pellets in the ground, lots of compost. We like mushroom compost um, and we will so in the middle of March, plant out at the beginning of May, cover with nets for the first few weeks to keep the pigeons, the few, first few months rather, to keep the pigeons off. And then we'll take the nets off so that we can make sure that the plants underneath don't have too much white fly or cabbage aphid or anything like that. If we see the first signs of cabbage aphid, we'll probably just take the leaves off and we'll give them a good blast with water if we see any more problems 
and then we just that's how we manage them basically so white flying cabbage aphid it's just blast with water remove the affected leaves and that's one of the benefits of harvesting the leaves continuously is you just see a little bit of white fly on there just pick that leaf wash the white fly off it's no problem at all especially early in the season caterpillars don't like collets as much as they like things like Brussels sprouts but you will still get the odd problem mostly we'll just address that by um, picking them off squashing the eggs if we miss them and we get quite a bad kind of infestation then we will spray with BT every couple of weeks provided it's not raining that works quite well so that is pretty much collets let me just come back to one of these so what the heck are these things well they are a cross between Brussels sprouts and kale and they have kind of all the nutritional value of both of the parent plants and I have a little rating system that I use when deciding what to grow I take consider the health of the plant and I think collets are almost at the top of the health chart. Maybe garlic is slightly above them. I take how prolific they are, so the size of the yield, and collets are way up there. Not as good as lettuce, for example, but still incredibly prolific. And then I take how much they cost in the shops, which is a lot. And finally, if you buy them in the shops, can you get them organic? Or are they sprayed a lot? Well, they are sprayed a lot. You can't get them organic. So again, that just bumps them even higher. So they are absolutely at the top of my things to grow, provided you can grow them well. Now I've written a little ebook uh, chapter about collets. Uh, there's lots more in the ebook, obviously, but uh, this is one of the first individual growing guides that I've written and there's a lot more detail than you've seen in the video so quite a bit on why to grow them, seeds that I use, how to sow them, prick them out, where to plant them, prepare in the ground, how to plant them and on and on watering, supporting, netting, cold weather, harvesting, uh, post harvest cooking, dealing with pests, interplanting, what to plant before them, what to plant after them. So there's a lot of stuff in here. And I'd love your feedback on this actually because this is the first of the detailed guides that I've put in the ebook. Most of the other content is kind of big picture, planning, year round harvesting, um, successional growing, all of that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, this is the first kind of template detail guide that I've written so far. So there we go. If you grow collets, let me know what you think of them. I am such a fan. And if you have problems with them, let me know as well. And we'll see if we can diagnose what the problem is. My name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel. And I'll see you soon.